A lot's changing in agriculture today, not only with commodity markets and consolidation in the industry, but also with things like the weather. You're getting drier seasons, you're getting bigger storms, you're getting overall you know, changes in when you can plant and when you need to harvest. And so the environment and the weather is, is really impacting what happens on the farm and what happens uh, in the field. And so growers need a tool to deal with that. When source is applied, it activates beneficial microbes at the root zone of the plant. It activates two different types of bacteria. One are phosphate solubilizing bacteria that unlock phosphate and make it available to the plant. And the others are nitrogen fixing bacteria that transform nitrogen in the atmosphere into a plant available form. This leads to an increased boost of nitrogen and phosphorus for the plant, which can lead to increased plant health and enhanced yield at the end of the season. There's nothing out there like Source. We are able to provide in-season nitrogen and phosphate in its plant available form at the root zone when and where the plant needs it the most. It's really exciting stuff. It's cutting edge science. I think sustainable agriculture is twofold. There's economic sustainability, but I think there's also another part of that is, is this gonna make our farms that we operate uh, better for our future and also for our future of the next generation. If we have a technology that increases the uptake efficiency of nitrogen or phosphorus and adds yield, I view that as sustainable agriculture. If I think about my career over the last 40 years, all the things that we did in ag were above ground. And I think that's the next frontier, looking at that microbiome and what we can do to enhance all those resources that are there. Can we stimulate the bacteria that are natural, get them to give us more nutrients back instead of applying so much stuff? Can we take more that's already there?